Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Jeff with Bear River Blogger and we are back out on the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge on a windy, stormy day. In fact, it was raining earlier and I came out to do some bird photography and I brought my big 150 to 600 Tamron lens to do some photography on their auto tour route. And what I want to talk to you guys about is a simple tip about photographing with these big lenses when you've got wind, rain, and snow. Now, if you're not familiar with the Bear River Bird Refuge, I'll put a link down in the description below um, about the auto tour here that I photograph on. It's in a phenomenal place. Um, it's just incredible. That's actually where we're at now. But here's my lens. This is the Tamron 150 to 600. And when I take it out on days like today, what you want to do is always make sure you have the lens hood on, which is this thing right here. All it is is just a long tube extension. And what it does is give you a little space between the lens and the glass. And if you're going to get any rain or snow coming down, especially if there's wind, it saves a lot of headache when you come home on days like today and you think you're getting good pictures, but they all have water droplets on them because there's water on the lens. Um, when I photograph, I'm photographing from inside my car, but the lens is always to the edge of the, where the window is, or sometimes it sticks out. So if there's any amount of rain or, or snow, especially if there's uh, wind or not, there's always seems to get water droplets on it. And this lens cover actually will help with that because it puts a big space between where the, where the glass is and where the water is you know, coming down. So it's just a simple thing that saves a lot of aggravation when you're photographing with these big lenses and you got to stick them right next to the, you know, at the window or even out the window. I don't use them on clear sunny days, but on days like today when it was raining earlier, they're very beneficial and they save a lot of aggravation. So anyway, if, you, if the, hopefully that helps. If that, if you guys are looking to get one of these lenses, like I said, look, go down in the description below and check out the Tamron lens. I've got a, a little thing on my website about, it. I use it a lot. Um, may give you a help out if you're looking for something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna head out of here and I hope these little photography tips help you out. Uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel and follow me at barrierblogger.com. And if you've got any questions, just drop them down in the comments below. And we will catch you on the next video.